Hello everyone, this is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In this training tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to turn an automatically designed tooth. Now we're going to take a look at in just a minute in version uh, 4.13 of the Blue Sky Plan software to take the automatically designed tooth treatment plan with it. We're going to go through the treatment planning very quickly because we're going to focus on in this tutorial video how to create the crown for an immediate load case. Now, the export of the crown from the Blue Sky Plan software is completely free. So you could export the STL file as well as the XML file for the milling machine directly from the Blue Sky Plan software to generate that crown. So we're going to start the process right now by clicking on Implant Planning and Surgical Guides. And we're going to select the option for a one or two implant case. So I'm demonstrating the process using the wizard process flow. But if you're not using the wizard and you're just using normal or advanced, then that's fine. Once the treatment planning is done and you have that automatic tooth, inside the treatment plan and you'll be able to convert it into the crown very easily the same way as I'm demonstrating in the video. So I'm selecting the model STL which is definitely the most common preferred way of importing the model and the Blue Sky Bio Fully Guide Surgical Kit which is definitely the preferred way of placing the implant with the Blue Sky Bio Fully Guide Surgical Kit but as I always point out we have around 70 different implant systems in the software so if you're using a different implant system then select it from the list. Okay, I'm navigating my computer to the location of the DICOMs. I'm going to use my left mouse button to grab and drag and just to find the relevant field of view. Our CT scan shows up on the screen. The nerves are automatically detected. We confirm that everything looks okay and click next. Now I'm going to navigate to the STL model for this case. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And I do have another tutorial that actually takes us through the step-by-step -step process for the wizard a little bit more slowly and in more detail. But this case, like I said, I'm just going to get to the stage where we could convert that tooth into the crown. Right now, I'm just selecting the draw type mandible. The automatic model alignment is running. We have the alignment. We should confirm the alignment in the 2D views to make sure the outline of the model is tightly wrapped around the teeth. And then go ahead and click on next. Okay, now this is the key step where we're placing the automatic tooth. You can see we now have two options here to either create an AI tooth or to select a tooth from the catalog. I'm going to make sure I'm on the automatically create AI tooth. Click on the relevant tooth positioning. I'm going to confirm the placement of the implant and the abutment I want to place and then go ahead and click on OK. Left click once in the desired location and now the software is running the automatic tooth generation. So as you could see we have pretty much every step in the wizard process flow automated. So you just go ahead and click through and next, 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 and obviously at every step confirm. But the wizard flow, as you're going to see in just one second, we actually have the automatic surgical guide curve as well. The wizard flow is pretty much step-by-step -step automated. If you want more control and you want to do things manually, then instead of going to the wizard as I did at the beginning, simply select normal or advanced and you can manually use the different tools, even the automated tools. You, you can control which tools are being used when and to trim and plan your case. Okay, as we can see here, the tooth has been automatically generated. The implant and abutment has been placed. This is our first iteration of the automatic tooth design. So if you have any problematic cases, then as always, please send them in to us, plan at blueskybio.com so we can continue to improve the machine learning and improve the AI for the automation and provide better results to all our users. Okay, we now have our tooth and I'm going to click next. We can confirm the implant placement. If any modifications are necessary, just grab and drag the implant with your left mouse button. You could change the tilt, just grab the circle with your left mouse button and adjust the tilt accordingly. I'm going to now click next. And what we see happening now, as I mentioned previously, is the software is going to draw the surgical guide curve automatically. So the curve appears on the screen. We could confirm and fine tune as necessary. Once that is done, click next. 
And here we have the surgical guide that appears on our screen. If we want to add a window, right click, choose add window. Customize the shape of the window that you want to add simply by just sizing and placing the box. Obviously make sure you have at least three millimeters in every direction of material. And once you're done with the window box, click recreate guide with windows. And here we go, now we have our completed surgical guide. So we can finish the wizard to uh, save all the data and generate the report, save everything wherever we wanna save everything. And while this is happening, I'm just gonna tell you that we actually have a crazy offer for Blue Sky Bio Implant customers that you could get the surgical guide for free, including the digital planning and the surgical guide fabrication. And you could get a free crown even though I'm gonna demonstrate the crown generation process, you could get a free crown, including the design and the manufacturing as well for free. And you could see information regarding those offers at blueskybio.digital forward slash free offers. Okay, so now that we have our surgical guide done, I'm going to X out up here of the wizard. And as we saw during the process, we had the software design a tooth for the case. So if that's not visible, just click on the visibility for show teeth right over here, or you could access via the tooth list as well. And here you have it. So I'm going to turn off our CT now and our surgical guide and the software guide tube. Okay, and here's our tooth. Now I'm going to switch over from normal to crown and bridge. Okay, so now if you want to resize or just increase contacts or do anything general to the tooth, you could just grab the nodes to resize. And here we could see the size changing. And if you want to do any more editing work, you could use any of the editing tools that we have or modify the tooth design if necessary. If you're happy with the tooth design, and like I said, the functionality is going to be getting better and better over time, Simply go to the restoration design panel, crown on a tie base. We're choosing here mandible. Confirm the model, confirm the crown, confirm the tie base. If you have one of each, then it's obviously selected by default. And then click start. The first step is the path of insertion. So you go ahead and modify using the arrows or by aligning the model on screen and click set, set insert direction from view. Now the step here is identify interproximal areas. So we're not gonna do this because we already designed our tooth and we're already happy with the design. So there's no need to mark the interproximal areas. So I'm going to keep the box checked, do not modify crown shape or placement and click next. Here we have a margin on our model. To take the margin from the tooth that was designed and generated, click project margin. and then click next. Okay, here we have our tooth that's pretty much turned into a crown at this point. If we wanna modify the connection, you could grab and drag any of the nodes here. You can use the slider to modify the different settings in terms of the shape of the connection. And you have a box here, create crown screw channel. Yes or no, you could toggle it on and off. Once that's done, click next. And here's the final step which you could, once again, use editing tools if you want to fine tune the shape of the crown in any way. And you have a checkbox here, adopt interproximal contacts. If Again, if you don't want the software to change anything, then uncheck that box and then click next. If we, sw if we switch over now to our surfaces, we could see the crown that has been designed. And again, this crown can be exported to an STL file with or without the XML file for milling. Simply click on the export button here. Here you have the options to export to STL. And if you want to export the CAM mill file, just make sure you have the checkbox here under CAM selected and then click export.
As I mentioned, there's no fee for designing or exporting a crown, so you could generate crowns all day long, export them at completely no cost 